The loss of even just a fraction of the $12 million Guam's public auditor identified in a recent review of the Guam Housing Corporation's finances could devastate its loan programs and other initiatives, according to its director. Well, the, the, the $12.8 million that Guam Housing has is actually, uh, it's, it's allotted for operations and loans. So if, if a large amount of that um, funding was to be taken, the, the corporation would uh, essentially be paralyzed. Uh, really? Right. If... if, if Twelve million was to be taken because the, the funds are allotted for you know operations and loans. So um, it, it's it, it just, it's pretty much a lifeblood of Guam housing right now. But with Gov Guam in dire financial straits and the prospect it may have to pay a million dollars a week for the construction of a new landfill, Senator Judy Guthard says it's time to put that twelve million dollars back in Gov Guam's accounts. She notes Gov Guam has previously paid to bail out the housing corporation when it was short on cash, and now Gov Guam needs the corporation to return the favor. I think at this point in time, you know, no man is an island. Uh, they don't uh, exist on their own. They are part of this government, even if they are an autonomous agency. When they needed help, the government of Guam, the people of Guam, bailed them out. Now the government of Guam needs some help. Guthards adds she is concerned that unless the money is used for government needs, it could be seized by the federal district court as part of the $1 million a week payments Gov Guam is being ordered to make for the landfill. But the housing corporation's manager is also worried, saying that with real estate and housing prices expected to rise in the future, Guam's people will see a greater need for the corporation's programs. Stefan Sebastian, PNC News.